Thanks a lot. Welcome back to Countdown. This, of course, is no ordinary countdown. This is our championship of champions. Some of the most brilliant eight from the last four series in the last two years are gracing us with their return presence. So we've had a great quarterfinal on our first day back yesterday. We now have a semi-finalist from that. Let's now see who's going to be our second semi-finalist by meeting once again Derek Coombs and Fiona Willis. Well, here we are in January 1993, but cast your mind back, gentle viewer, to the summer of 1990. You should remember this young man, Derek Coombs, the RAF telecommunications controller, who won eight straight games in that series, series number 20, before he lost by one point, one point to Liz Barber in the final. Well, at the time, he was living in Dunfermline in Fife, but he's now been stationed in Gibraltar for the last two years. And that's why, actually, he couldn't appear in the last championship of champions two years ago. But we never forget a champion, and here he is. A total of 643 points. We're delighted to welcome him back as our number two seed, Derek Coombs. <laughs> yes, it was a grand year. It was a grand year that summer of 1990, because later in the series, we met Fiona Willis from Alva in Clackmannanshire, and she had five wins and one draw before she lost out in the semi-finals, again, to the amazing Liz Barber. Now, she delighted our viewers not only with her talent, personality, but also her amazing array of earrings. Well, she tell, yes, she tells us she's still making them, although she hasn't so much time at the moment because she's now 18 and she's at Stirling University studying for a degree in accountancy. She is our number seven seed, Delight to welcome back Fiona Willis. <laughs> well, we had a good game yesterday, and our guardian of the dictionary struggled mightily to beat our two excellent quarter finalists. He eventually scored with revamped coffer and ruffy. Ruffy, Australian word meaning a hooligan or a rough person. But we're expecting, of course, the usual smooth performance from the refined Richard Stilgo. It is nice to be here again. Sitting next to me is an anagram of Dusty Knees. <laughs> she doesn't have Dusty Knees. She's from the Oxford Dictionary and she's called Susie Dent. <laughs> Susie too, resplendent in earrings. And what about, what about the lady who counts? Board. Board at the board, yes. I've got some as, as well. She's Quite certainly tasty. got long hair but lovely earrings. Carol yes. Vorderman. Thank you. All right, so let's crack on now. Derek Coombs, number two seed, number seven seed is Fiona Willis. Derek, it's your turn to start. Consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Derek. L. Another consonant, please. Another one. R. Another consonant, please. M. A vowel, please. O. Another vowel, please. I. Another vowel, please. E. Consonant, please. Y. Another consonant, please. R. And another consonant, please. And another consonant, which is S. And the countdown starts now. Now, Derek? Seven. Seven. And Fiona? Seven. Seven. Derek, seven. Lorries. 
Lorries. Lorries. Your seven. Lorries as well. Lorries we've got for seven, Richard. Still go? Yeah, lorries. Uh, lorries, of course, merrily roll along. Merrily, another seven-letter word. And sorrily as well. Ugly word, S-O-R-R-I-L-Y, sorrily. Right, so we've got merrily and lorry, lorries. Lorries. Look at the side, hasn't it, when you've had a few drinks? Lorries. <laughs> and sorrily. I haven't had a drink yet. Um, right, Fiona, your turn. Consonant, please. T. Another one, please. And another one. N. Vowel, please. A. Another one, please. That's E. Consonant, please. M. Another consonant. Z. Vowel, please. U. Another consonant, please. Another consonant, please. And another consonant, and that is N. Thanks very much indeed. Clock starts now. Five and Derek. Um, or risk of seven. No, oh, well, very, yes, very brave because I suppose you could have gone for a six, a safe six, had you got one. Because Fiona only having a five, but we'll look at yours, Fiona. Five. Steam. Steam. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, steam. Now nah, this risky seven. Unmeant. Spell it out. U n m e a n t. Well, the pen cam is being wielded, even as I speak. What do we say on the pen cam? And meant is absolutely fine, not meant or intended. Well done. Yeah. Risk. Oh, risk. I suppose that's what you had, isn't it, Richard? Yeah. <laughs> Can't improve on that. Very, very likely good. story. Thank you very much indeed. You two then, 14 and 7. Derek, your, num your letters, please. Consonant, please, Carol. C. Another consonant, please. Taking two out here. That's B. Uh, another consonant, please. All right. And T. A uh, vowel, please. E. Another vowel, please. O. Another vowel, please. I. A uh, consonant, please. L. Another consonant, please. R. And a uh, vowel, please. And a vowel. And A. Thank you. The clock starts now. Seven. Seven. Six, please. Taylor. 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 Seven, please. Bloater. B-L-O-A-T-E-R. Yes. Things you get from Yarmouth do not let us still go. Yarmouth bloated. Yarmouth bloated, okay? yeah. Very good. Fine. Very, Very good. good. Bloater. Seven. Just hang on. Let's yeah. just look at bloater because this is the winning one. A bloater. Absolutely right. Seven points for you. Good. Now then, Richard. Well, I got one, which is a thing that you need if you want to hold down a ballpoint pen on a boat. Jabaro cleat. <laughs> you may laugh. There is a genuine nine-letter word here. If you have a convertible car and you are French, it is called a cabriolet. A cabriolet. Is it there? Yeah. All right. Very good. Yes, the lights are flashing. Here we are, only the second day into 1993, countdown-wise, and a nine-letter word already. Cabriolet is there for nine. 
Well, 14 and 14 it is, numbers it is, and Fiona it is. Can I have one from the top? One from the top, Fiona. Two from the next. Two. Another two from the next. Yes. And one from the bottom. And one from the bottom. All right. The numbers, then, are eight and one, ten and nine, three and fifty. And the target, as all, is uh, 607. So it is, 607. Here we go. Six oh seven, Fiona. Yes, six oh seven. Good for you and Derek. Six oh seven. Thank you. Fiona, six oh seven. Nine plus three is twelve. Nine plus the three that gives you twelve. Times fifty is six hundred. Multiply it by the big number. You have six hundred. Eight minus one is seven. Yes, it is. And add it on. Add that on for ten points. Good for you, Derek. Yes, same way. And the same way. So good. Ten points for both of them. Well done, everybody. Ten points. Well, interesting first half, even Stevens on the first round, and then uh, Derek got ahead, and then Fiona caught up, and now they're both the same, 24 and 24, so interesting second half in view, but not before we end first half, which we will do now with Richard. Since the last series, lots of people have sent me anagrams, and I thought I might share some of those with you over the next few days. Um, C.E.G. Lewis of Malpas near Truro sent me a marvellous sporting list. Did you know that World Cup team was an anagram of talcum powder? And, and this, I think this is an amazing one. Racing tipster is an anagram of starting price. Isn't that good? It is. That's very good. Mm. Did, you, but did you know all those? No, I didn't. New to you. No, no. New to you. Marvellous list. Marvellous list. Okay. Well, the marvellous list, marvellous game, marvellous contestants, marvellous viewers, of course, creep, creep. We'll see you all again in part two. <laughs> I don't have much time here, but if you have house plants, well, uh, the name says it all. Cut. That works, doesn't it? To help your kids' school claim free sports equipment, get the kettle on. natural earth pigments, enhancing the beauty of wood, providing protection that lasts. Do you love wood? Saddle in. You love wood. And welcome back to part two of Countdown, when we're on our championship of... Uh, Champions, we've got two champions in the studio here. Derek Coombs, our number two seed, and Fiona Willis, number seven seed. But look at the scores. Nothing to choose between them, 24 and 24. So I think we'll get sorted out in this half, I trow. So let us plough on now with round five, a letters game with Fiona. Consonant, please. T, another one, please. D, another one, please. Another D. Vowel, please. E, another vowel. U, another vowel, please. E, consonant, please. S, another consonant, please. L, and another vowel, please. And a vowel. And that is a slow O. And the countdown starts now.
Thank you. Uh, Fiona? Seven. Seven. And Derek? Uh, stay with the seven. You've got an eight in view, had you? Mm. Well, we'll, we'll have a look at that, perhaps, for fun. But Fiona's seven is? Loudest. Loudest, yes. Loudest, therefore. Seven. Yours, please? Loudest. Loudest. Go on. Tell us what the eight was. Desolute. Desolute. Dissolute. I think it's dissolute, isn't it, yeah. with an I? Yes. Um, okay. So what a good thing that you didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could have had toddles for seven letters, but you could have had for eight letters, de-loused. <laughs> <laughs> Something has never happened to either of you, so that's why you wouldn't know the word. But de-loused. De-loused. Yeah. It's not the most delightful of words, but there it is. De-loused. Well, no difference to scores, really, relatively. 31-31. Derek, your turn. Consonant, please, Carol. The Q. Another consonant, please. T. <laughs> Cutie. Consonant, please. Just what you are, Derek, of course. S. Vowel, please, Carol. E. Another vowel, please. I. Uh, consonant, please. D. Uh, another consonant, please. G. Uh, another consonant, please. T. And another consonant, please. And a consonant, all right. And K. And the countdown starts now. Thanks very much indeed. Derek? Six. Six. Fiona? Six. Six. Said six. Said Fiona, let's have a look at your six, please. Digest. 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 And yours, Derek? Digest as well. Digest. Well, good. Richard? Yeah, and digest and kitted, as in kitted out. But nothing else. No, well, there's digest. We'll read that. There it is. Digest. Thank you. 37 to 37. Three rounds to go. Goodness gracious. Fiona, last letter game, please. Consonant, please. H. Another one, please. C. A vowel, please. Vowel. A. Another one, please. E. A consonant. D. Another consonant. T. A vowel, please. A. Another consonant, please. D. And another vowel, please. And another vowel, which is I. And the countdown starts now. Seven. Seven. Derek. Seven also. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, well. Derek, seven. Ditched. Itched. Ditched. Oh, ditched. Yes. Ditched for seven. Fiona. Ditched as well. Mm. Yes. Well, ditched. Yeah. It's what the RAF have to do every now and then if things go disastrously wrong. Um, dad ache I got, which is something that all fathers suffer from every now and then. Um, cat head. <laughs> we have found in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. There we are. A horizontal something. Beam. Thank you. Each side of a ship's bow for raising and carrying the anchor. A cat head. A cat head. You learn something every day. A cat head. Yeah, I've heard of a dog's body, but never a cat head. <laughs> well, cat head. Well, we're even Stevens, ladies and gentlemen. 44 44, and it's been even since round three. So here we are, round eight. It's the last numbers game, Derek's numbers. Uh, one from the top row, please. One Carol. from the top row, Derek. And five from anywhere else. All right, then. And five small numbers. One, two, three, four. I'm going to take that one. That's the last one. 
So we have 3 and 3, 10 and 2, 4 and 50. And the target is a high one, 954. Okay, Carol, thank you. Here we go, 954. Nine five four. Nine five four. Nine five four. I thought as much. <clears throat> who would like to go? First? Is it immaterial? I mean, who would like to go first? Hands up. Would like to go first. Ladies first. <laughs> well, I'm obstinate. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> three threes are nine. Three multiplied by three. Three squared. That gives you nine. Plus ten is nineteen. It is indeed. Times fifty. Nine hundred and fifty. Nine hundred and fifty. And add the four. Add the four. The tangle right. point. Did you do it your way, Fiona? No, I did it the same way. Yes, did. Nine five four. Okay, well done. <laughs> so there we are, fifty-four and fifty-four. <laughs> the conundrum will surely. Resolve it. If they don't get it in the 30 seconds, we'll go on and on putting conundra in until we get a winner. So, no peace for them. Someone's going to be the winner in the next few minutes. So, here we go now with this one. If you're ready for the conundrum, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. And Fiona, on two seconds, says... Relieving. Relieving. And as the Bard said, for this relief, much thanks. You must be very relieved that you've got relieving. So well done. That's uh, the first major upset of the series, ladies and gentlemen, in the uh, second day of countdown, the second quarter final. The number seven seed, Fiona Willis, has ousted the number two seed, Derek Coombe. So in the semi final of the Championship of Championships, later on, you will see Fiona Willis. Now then, Derek. You used to living dangerously, but I'm afraid it wasn't to be this time. A bit too dangerous for me. <laughs> just tell me, we just have to say goodbye to you, but do, you've been out in Gibraltar. Do they, I hear they get countdown in Gibraltar, do they? Yeah, they get on SSVC, which is the forces television. Mm. So it goes all over mm. where the British forces are, Germany yeah. and so on. So you were a legend in your own lifetime when you were on your winning streak then. I was. Hopefully they, don't, they won't show it next year. <laughs> I guarantee they're going to see this. We'll send them a video, if it's not. Anyway, Derek, a lot of fun. Sorry to say goodbye, but all the best. Derek Coombe. <laughs> uh, now, Richard. Yes, bad luck to Derek. Here's an anagram, Derek Coombe's, not an easy one, of what the Scots do in the evening, which is McCreed books. <laughs> and also, here's an anagram of Gibraltar's own blues singer, who is called... Moe's Bedrock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry. Well, he's only small, you know. He does work for his money, though, doesn't he? He really does. And two more chaps who won't get any money for appearing, just a lot of heartache and a sleepless night. Tonight, they're tomorrow's quarterfinals. Here they are, well-known faces. Phil Jordan, he's the big one. And who's the little one? Yes, it's Wayne Summers, our most recent champion. So Wayne Summers and Phil Jordan up here with me on the platform tomorrow. We hope very much you'll be out there in front of your tellies. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>